Welcome, happy holidays to this month's masterclass with Frank Nash, owner of Stronger Personal Training, and he is going to share the goods on dealing with challenges, running fitness challenges, <laughs> and the best ways to overcome them, best practices, etc. So if this is your first masterclass, welcome. I'm Kat Bearfield, VP of Nutrition Services and Head Dietitian. Uh, we also have our founder and CEO, Neil Spruce, and of course, he needs no introduction, Frank Nash. So without further ado, take it away, Frank. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, Neil. Uh, before everyone jumped on, Kat and I were talking about uh, this is actually the perfect time to have this webinar and class about challenges. If you haven't run a challenge before, it is the perfect time to actually start marketing it. And uh, if, if you have, uh, hopefully we can share some ideas back and forth and uh, I can learn something and may maybe you learn something too. Um, the coolest thing about, about challenges is that between, you know, DotFit, you know, Neil, myself and Kat, uh, we've done a lot of this. Um, believe it or not, Neil was, uh, was assisting on The Biggest Loser when it first started. He was intricately involved, intricately, intricately involved with The Biggest Loser. So that's like the challenge of all challenges. Uh, Kat helped UFC in their global challenges around the nation. Um, and, and we've been very instrumental, Brian, who's on our team with the Edge Eight Week Weight Loss Challenges. So between all of us, we have a lot of experience of not just what works really well, what doesn't work that well. And hopefully we could share some ideas back and forth. So when we do execute these challenges for the new year, we all make a lot of money and help a lot of people lose a lot of weight. Everybody, everybody wins. And that's the coolest thing about these challenges. Everybody wins. Gym owners win, trainers win, members win. Well, actually, members lose. I should <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So um, I threw this, this in here about a couple of seconds ago. Kat and I were just talking about this. This gets everyone kind of jammed up. How long should our challenges be? Uh, the correct answer is it depends. It depends on the bandwidth of you as an owner, operator, or manager, and your staff. I would suggest no less than 21 days, no more than eight weeks. I've seen some 12-week challenges. The problem is the staff loses interest. And if they're not driving it, the members are gone. It's a long time. And though we know as trainers and from a scientific standpoint, it's better to do it that way over a 12 week, 12 week standpoint, the members are gone. The staff is gone. So I would keep it somewhere between three weeks and eight weeks. Now, keep in mind, if you happen to be the type of club that wants to do a 21 day challenge, you have to be on fire. Yourself and every member of your team has to put the welding mask on and start bursting flames at everybody because it is a high energy challenge. So it all depends on the pulse of your club. My, my personal favorite, somewhere between 28 days and six weeks, I think is the sweet spot. But if your staff and you can handle it, you can push it to eight weeks. So the challenge with challenges is simply this. It's a lot of work. Neil can tell you, Kat can tell you, Brian can tell you. Challenges are a lot of work. And the actual challenge itself from the start date to the end date, that's the easy part. It's all the setup work before and all the follow-up afterwards. Like what do you do after the challenge? And if you don't plan, it's going to fail. So let's, uh, let's get into this. So now when it comes to the challenge, what exactly is the challenge? Everyone has seen them. Everyone's heard of them. You're probably doing them. But the whole point of a challenge is to build community. That's really what we're doing. It's not really about the exercise. It's not about the nutrition. It's an event. That's really what we're trying to do here. So when a member asks you, okay, like, I know we're already kind of doing like weight loss, you know, Mrs. You know, what is this challenge? What do I get that's extra? Well, Mrs. Johnson, this is an accelerated fat loss program. We drive it through coaching and culture. And it's a lot of fun. So they're really purchasing the event and to be a part of something. And they have access to the grand prize. And we'll talk about prizes a little later. 
But when it comes to the, the internal challenge of a club, um, in a perfect world, when a, when a member meets with a trainer, they just follow that program and they're on autopilot. It doesn't really work that way. Uh, in a perfect world, your member would lose a half a pound, a pound a week over the course of their tenure with you. That never happens. Um, a lot of members, hell, it happens to me. Neil, as a bodybuilder, he knows better than anybody. Lose a shitload of weight, gain some back. Lose a shitload of weight, gain some back. So the people who are the best in the world at losing body fat, as far as I'm concerned, are fitness competitors and bodybuilders. They lose a lot of weight. They gain some back. A lot of professional athletes, they have an off-season, in-season. But the reality is for our members, they're expected to lose a shitload of weight and keep it off. But they're not, they're not, they're not even that good at losing weight. So I would kind of describe it as our members are no better or no worse than professional athletes or bodybuilders. They can undulate through and they can undulate as well too. So there's nothing really wrong with members losing weight fast, gaining some back. Maybe they, maybe they gain, maybe they lose 15 pounds. They'll gain five back. Maybe they next challenge, they lose 10. They gain five back. That's really what we're trying to do. And it's fun. And it's event and it's an event, but really your challenges are an ultimate solution. And we picked a perfect time to start this. We may, we, we may as well capitalize on the new year. And I know as trainers, and that's what I love about working with, working with DotFit and working with you trainers and you gym owners is if you're a DotFit trainer or you're partnered with us, uh, you love the science behind it. And I know what you're thinking, like, yeah, but I, people shouldn't wait to the first of the year. You know, they should do this year, but they don't. And that's okay. Everyone, even me included, I have goals after the first of the year. So let's capitalize on them. And for your member, and for people who are not members yet, Mrs. Johnson, this is who we really want to grab. Uh, I'm thoroughly convinced, Mrs. Johnson, right here, she has a basic understanding of nutrition. I'm sure she knows what foods are good for her, what foods are bad for her. I'm sure she knows she should exercise more, but that's really not what's holding her back. It is, as far as I'm concerned, she doesn't have enough people around her like her to participate in the activity with her to help her succeed. They always say, you are who you sur surround yourself with. If we can take someone like Mrs. Johnson here, who obviously may be struggling with her weight, it's not necessarily an exercise or nutrition thing. It's a community thing. So if she can start a program with people just like her and go through this together, being guided by some very positive, happy coaches and trainers, she's going to succeed long-term. So again, it's all about community. So when we talk about a challenge, uh, there's a thousand and one ways to skin a cat. But here's what I think are the best practices, including in, to include in your challenges. So here's just an example of a challenge that we're actually running next month. Um, I would say get them a t-shirt, um, include their dot fit supplement bundle. It's part of the price. In addition, 20% off for their entire challenge. They're going to get an in-body analysis. If you have a rewards program, you might as well include that. Just reward them. Uh, they get an accountability coach. Uh, and they're part of a team. They, you, we give them their individual nutritional specifications. We do their weigh-ins. We do a final body comp. Um, we, we do daily, a weekly, bi-weekly podcast specifically for this event. And the prizes. Now check out these, this is what we do. I love this. We give away 10 tubs of dot fit protein powder. That's over $600 worth. Uh, second prize gets two and then one. Now, when it comes to prizes, it depends clearly on the, uh, the scope of your challenge. If you're running it amongst numerous cr clubs, Kat and I were talking about this earlier when she helped UFC it, I think the grand prize was like $3,000 over, correct me if I'm wrong, Kat, it might have been 100 clubs, over 100 clubs, 3,000. I, I mean, I would say uh, it's totally up to you. I like to use a challenge prize as a vehicle to market 
a product I want or something I want. So I want to get people into Dot Fit. So it's a good way for me to advertise and market it. Now, what should the cost be for a challenge? It totally depends on what you're offering. If you're offering just group classes, it's going to be a little lower. If you're offering one-on-one -on -one training for your challenges, a little bit of it here and there, you're sprinkling it in, clearly you have to compensate the trainers. So the price tag is going to be a little high. It doesn't matter what the price is. I would just suggest when it comes to the cost, the price is the price, half off for current members. It's, it's okay. I want this to be expensive for non-members because I would rather have, I, I want to have the conversation with them. Hey, Mrs. Johnson, if you want this at half price, just join our club. You want them to join long-term and commit. Now, in terms of going back to, to the cost in the offerings of what you're offering, it, it, it all depends. Um, I would suggest if it's someone who's brand new into your club for the challenge, my idea as the manager club owner is I want to get them to experience as many different things as possible in my club. So I'll have them do some group training. I'll have them do some personal training, some private training, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I may have them do some small group training. I want them to taste everything in the club. And I also want to give them the Ferrari. I want to give them the best membership in the club. So when they stay, they have a better understanding of what we do. A big mistake that a lot of clubs do for challenges I've seen is they give them the really the cheapest membership. They just get aerobics classes. Don't do that. Get them involved with the personal training right away. We definitely need that high level of accountability in that relationship building. The prizes. We just talked about this. It could be cash. It could be product. I would suggest I love the product idea. Do the 10 tubs of Dotfit protein. That's, that's a killer. And you know, you could buy the, the big box, the 25 pounder, put a big bow on it. Yeah. Um, New Year's challenges. Okay, the, the marketing. I would suggest if you're going to offer a challenge, pick the 15th or 16th of January. Uh, give people a good week and a half to kind of ease in to after the first of the year. They probably already signed up to it for it by then, but that's going to be your start date is around the 15th or 16th. Uh, the orientation will be the day before or the kickoff party will be the day before. So that gives you roughly three and a half, four weeks to market this. So you could start marketing this Monday if you want. I would suggest you do that. Start marketing it then. Now, when it comes to marketing, the best ways to get current members to sign up, when we're talking about the internal marketing, yeah, we have our, 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 our physical collateral. It could be posters. It could be flyers. Your digital collateral. We could have it on the TV screens everywhere. We could send out Facebook posts, emails. That's fine. But the two best ways to get people to sign up internally, number one is your coaches have to recruit. They have to recruit. Nothing is better than a coaching. Hey, Mrs. Johnson, what are your New Year's goals? No kidding. Oh, we have this amazing new program starting halfway through January. It's called, called Ignite. We're just going to light your fire internally. We're going to burn all that fat off. You want it? Okay, I'm going to sign you up, Mrs. Johnson. So coach recruitment is the best. The, the best clubs that uh, Kat and myself have worked with, what they do is they actually have a challenge. They have a challenge for the coaches. The coaches who recruit the most amount of people get a prize. And it's totally up to you what you want that prize to be. I would say cash, pay them. So, uh, and keep track. You know, um, I remember back in the day, Neil, I don't know if you remember this, the, the Edge had um, posters of the trainers and their signups were underneath their faces. Yeah. And publicly let people know who's winning in this challenge. So yeah. this isn't just a challenge for our members it's a challenge for your team too, when it should be. Yeah. Let's be competitive. Yeah. Okay. This is this one is takes zero work and highly effective. A sign up sheet. Get a big, huge poster. Just put it somewhere in the club. Write. You could write a few fake names in. Just let there's some participation. People want to be on that sheet. Make an attendance sheet too when they work out. This this alone, as silly as it is. People like keeping score and see those little check marks. Forget it. Get stickers, happy faces, thumbs up, little emoji poops, whatever you want it to be. But 
These are the two best ways internally to get people to sign up. Also, I want someone to walk by that poster and go, oh, my friend John is on. I'm doing this too. I'm not going to let him do it and I'm not going to do it. So two best ways to get internal members to sign up. Now, there's a lot of information that we're collecting that we want to collect from your members as they sign up. Simply create a Google form. That's Google yelling at me. Uh, simply create a Google form. Um, send them the link and have them fill out. Now, what's on that Google form? Their name, their contact, their shirt size, who they're referring, their goals, all that stuff, et cetera, gets dropped into one big spreadsheet. Everything is right there. You want to make this as easy as you can for you, for them, but also how to scale it. So all you have to do is pop up a very simple Google sheet through this Google form. And you can even look at it on your phone. There's an app for it too. And then even easier, once you have all their names compiled with a thumb, you can copy, paste, send them messages. The best way to get non-members to sign up is... Referrals, 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 referrals. I would suggest there is a premium price tag on these challenges because a lot of work is going into this for your staff, for you. So how does your member get it free? Very simply, refer to non-members, the challenge is free. Let them know that. And of course, nobody wants to do this alone. And let's be honest, it's the first of the year coming up. Everyone has friends that want to lose weight. Hell, I want to get leaner for the first of the year. So, hey, Mr. Johnson, get two of your friends. It's on the house. It's the single best way to get non-members to sign up. Of course, please use your email list. Use Facebook. Uh, reach out to old members. But the easiest way is to let your current members know if their friends and family join, it's going to be complimentary for them. It's easy. Okay, so people sign up. And you get them to sign up. Confirmation email with directions goes out. Again, we're trying to scale this. We're trying to make it easy. Give them a checklist. Email them a checklist. Is, are all these things done? If you've ever run a challenge or you're running a challenge, the last thing you want when we're doing that kickoff party is for people to show up and say, okay, what's a, what's a dot fit? protein uh what wh where's it in body how do i sign up for it? like you don't want that you want to make sure they're ready to go the whole point of the kickoff party we want to get them excited on fire we don't want to do all this work here we want to get this done before so send out this checklist and I, my suggestion would be send out your checklist every single day i don't care if they get the same checklist 10 times 10 days in a row we need to get this stuff done Okay, um, they sign up before our kickoff party. There's that gap. How quickly can you get them to do body composition and goal setting? How quickly can we get them to do that? Now, I put body composition because if there's a grand prize and it's lucrative, whether it's money or I'm giving them that 25 pound of dot fit protein, protein powder, it has to be fair. And the fairest way to do it, as far as I'm concerned, is through body composition. If you don't have access to body composition, like an in-body, um, you have to find a different metric. It may be a combination of weight loss and attendance. You just have to find a fair way where it's black and white. There's a, there's a, a real winner. And Kat, if you have any suggestions on that, because I know that you did this over a bunch of clubs or anyone else has any suggestions, you can uh, drop it in the chat. But here's what we, we always do. Uh, somebody does their in-body. Here's the printout to the left. After when it's done, we flip it over. Here's what we fill out. And it's going to look something like this. And this is for the entire length of the program. Okay. Pre-kickoff party setup. Now, this is going to take some coordinating. You want balloons, you want samples, you want crazy music, you want this amazing slideshow of your club and past winners, you want to rent chairs, you want to rent tables, you want to hook up with partners and sponsors. So this is something that you're just not going to decide to do. Sit down with your team 
and come up with exactly what is going on here, how this is going to work logistically. If you look right here, the reason I put that dot fit bottle is you could probably correct me if I'm wrong, Neil. I think those are like five dollars on our website. Just buy yeah. a one of those, everyone. Yeah. And as members come in for the kickoff party, just give them one and have some amino boost samples as well, too, or some NL7 Rage. Get them to sample it. Most members, especially if they're brand new to your club, have either had no experience or a bad experience with some shitty supplement company. So we want to get them to, to actually taste some of these things. Also get a bunch of bars, chop them up, sample them up. And I don't know if you guys have had the new Dot Fit bars. They're off the chain. They're crazy. Neil, you killed it with those. Yeah. Amazing. Not me. The manufacturer did. They're great. That's for sure. Amazing. <laughs> so um, the, the, you want to think of the, the kickoff party not as, I use the word orientation, not as an orientation or presentation. It's a party. You want to get everyone excited. You want to get them to meet all their coaches if they haven't yet, but also their teammates and get ready for this journey that they're about to go on with you. Okay, the kickoff party itself. Boom. This is a party. Um, I, I, I'd be happy if you would have somewhere between 50 and 100 people do one of your, your challenges. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. You can do it virtually. I know Casey does a, a really good virtual one. Uh, or you can do the kickoff party in person. Me, personally, I love the in-person one. I've done them both. There are ups and downs for both. If you do a virtual kickoff party, clearly they're not going to get... Um, the feels, they're not going to get the samples, they're not going to get the, the in-person sponsors. But if you do it virtually, you'll get 100% participation. If you do it in person, you'll probably only get 70 to 80% of people to show up for it just because shit happens. My suggestion is you do both. You have a live one and then you pop open your computer like this and you spend an hour doing another one. I love live party presentations because um, it really is about community. And if you're running a brick and mortar gym, you want to get people into your club and feeling the vibes. It's all about the vibes. So what is in the presentation? Before we talk about what is in the presentation, I would argue what's more important is Who's doing the presentation? It has to be the biggest rock star, friendliest person on your team. This is the person with the best swag, who has the best people presence. You need someone that can present to do this. Because I would love to tell you that what we're going to go over in our 45 minutes of presentation is going to blow their mind and teach them something that they don't know. It's not going to. I want them to leave and be happy and be jazzed up and ready to go. Because during my presentation here, which I'm going to do, I'm just teaching them what the coach already talked to them about before the presentation. This person already did their body composition. They already went over their goals. The coach already talked to them about what it's going to take over the next 21 to six weeks, 21 days to six weeks. So, so I'm just reiterating but i'm bringing the fire i'm making them laugh i'm throwing high fives kissing babies giving chest bumps i want to make them feel really good so that's really what we're trying to do during the presentation but here's what a presentation would look like for one of these kickoff parties reminder to do this right it's going to have to be in the afternoon um saying that you don't have a lot of time you got roughly one full hour with these members. So that presentation has got to be 45 minutes. You got to pack it in. You're not trying to teach them all the X's and O's and all the different uh, ins and outs of calories and macronutrients and vitamins. You're not doing that. What we want to do is have a very fun, strong opening. We're going to talk about nutrition, exercise, dietary support, our four components, coaching and accountability, then I'm going to close them. It will look a little something like this. 
I'll give a brief overview. Hey, everyone, the reason we're here is, you know, the average person gains somewhere between, you know, five and seven pounds of body fat over the holiday seasons. Um, most people, they don't lose it. We're not going to be most people. Then I'll slide into the importance of nutrition. Hey, let's eat healthier. Let's eat healthier more consistently. Teach them about lower calorie, better choices, higher protein. Then I'll talk to them about exercise. Hey, what we do here for exercise is we take this thing that most people hate and we make it fun. I would love to tell you that we can exercise off fat, but we can't. It's really just stimulating muscle in combination with good amounts of protein to make sure that we keep all that fat burning machinery. But then we can't do that through food alone. We're going to need an easier, more convenient way to get those proteins and nutrients. And that's where our partners dot fit come in. And I, and I love spending a, a little bit of time on number three, because I don't think most members know how important it is for you and me to have such a strong partner in dot fit. How we, I mean, I say this all the time. We could have chosen anybody. Then your members should know why you chose dot fit because you give a shit about them and you care that they're getting the best and only the best. Then I slide into number four, which is coaching and community and accountability. How anybody can lose weight by themselves, maybe. You have a coach, it increases a little bit. You have a coach and you're part of a team or community, you're unstoppable. And that's where we wrap all this in and we give you this challenge. And we start tomorrow. Everyone meets their coaches. They meet their teammates. You take some pictures, throw some high fives. They leave with whatever extra bars and samples you have left. Everyone's happy and it's go time starting the next day. So throughout the challenge. Now, all the setup work, let's just, that's done. Through the entire challenge now, here's where it could get daunting. It could get daunting because a lot of gyms may get lulled to sleep because they don't know what to do every day. I'm going to give you a brief, easy formula on what to do over the course of whatever length your challenge is. You need to have daily communication. Uh, Casey does a kick-ass job in his Facebook group. If, you, if your member base isn't on Facebook, don't have a Facebook group. Uh, you may want to just do emails. Everyone has an email address and you can email every single day. What I like to do is I, I personally do emails. We do a video every single day. It's myself or my staff. It's a video on a topic that we want to hit on right then. And the formula we use during our daily communication is going to be at the bottom, our four pillars. Day one, nutrition. Day two, exercise. Day three, supplements. Day four, coaching accountability. I just pick a topic. Day five, nutrition. Day six, exercise. And I just go throughout. Your members will never even pick up on that formula. Now, the cool thing is, is your members are asking these questions all day, every day. For example, day one, you're going to get a question like, hey, Neil, I'm just curious, like, what foods are high in protein? Boom. Number two, exercise. One of your members is going to say, yeah, my back's been killing me. What do I do for? Boom. It doesn't mean you can't have a longer conversation about other things, but you're going to touch on those points. So there's your formula for the entire length of your, uh, your challenge. Just take those four and circulate and circulate. Weekly weigh-ins. I love weekly weigh-ins because Neil and I have talked about this forever. If the scale's not dropping, it's not working. So it's not a full body composition. I would just love every member just to step on the scale to make sure they're moving in the right direction. If they're not, we have to do our job better, whether it's coaching, whether it's switching things up, but also it gives us a little, a little coach time with the members, even if it's for a couple of minutes. Like, Mrs. Johnson, come on, what's going on? She'll ah, oh, you know, I had a bad day. You know, we went out for ribs and cornbread. Okay, well, let's not do that anymore. So we want to make sure that these people succeed long-term, but there's that level of accountability that they're paying for. This is part of the challenge. It's part of the challenge. We've had members lose no weight until the last week. And finally it clicked. They lose five, six pounds the last week. So 
the, the weighing in is very, very effective. Now with the weekly weigh-ins, I put an asterisk there because this is also for the coaches. If you're doing a challenge like this and we're going to reward our coaches, not just for signups, I want to reward them for the team that loses the most amount of body fat. Uh, you can do a couple of ways. You can do most amount of body fat percentage loss or the average body fat percentage loss per coach. Uh, that coach would win a prize at the end. And we could talk about that later. I also like the ability to tell your members every week how much the whole team has lost. How powerful is it? If you have about 50 members, everybody loses two pounds the first week to say, our team has lost over 100 pounds already. It's really powerful. And just wait as that challenge keeps going. You hit the second week, third week, fourth, you hit the end of it. Some of these challenges, by the end, it's going to be thousands of pounds, depending on how many members you have. It's pretty powerful. And uh, weekly meetings. The weekly meetings, I would say it's going to be impossible to get all of your members in the club that often at once. You're going to have to do this one, uh, whether it's in a, a Facebook group or over Zoom. Now, I want to go back to the daily communication. Uh, the easiest way to do this is throw your camera on, you know, yourself or two of your staff members and just sit next to each other and just record it over Zoom. Then just send them the link. It's the easiest way. Um, depending on your, uh, depending on your, your members' uh, logistics and if they're on social media or not, we just can't assume everyone's going to be on Facebook or they're into social media. This is a foolproof way. Everyone has an email address and they can just check that link. Okay, now the wrap up and the winners. This is not on the last day. Uh, the last two days of your challenge, you want people to do their body compositions. The wrap up is gonna be the day after the challenge ends. This one, I would suggest again, you do two. You do one live in person. Again, same thing. Get the balloons, get the, the music going, get, the, get all that great stuff going again. Because you want to make this an event. This is where we're going to announce the winners. This is where we're going to announce the winners for the coaches as well, too. And you want to present it. And let's make this a big deal. Um, whether it's the kickoff party or this wrap-up party here, have one of your friends bring a camera, take some video. Uh, take some stills, use this as marketing material for future challenges going forward, because as successful as this is going to be, we should run this three, four, five times a year. Um, to, to assume that everyone is going to just lose weight during this challenge and they're good for the rest of the year. Bullshit. I tell you exactly what's going to happen. Your members are going to lose a little weight. They're going to gain some back. And they're going to love the fact that this was so fun. It was so inspiring. They lost weight and they're gonna to wanna to do it again. You'll have members do every challenge you run forever. Not because they're obsessed with the weight loss, it's a fun, motivating event. And on that note, it's the only way some people can lose weight. Agreed, Neil, 100%. And yes, that's the only way they can, is to be motivated by other people. So therefore it's almost like a, a, an eternal Weight Watcher meeting. You know, and when it gets right down to it. So there's nothing wrong with gaining weight back and doing a challenge again. In fact, that's saving their life. I agree. Okay. Uh, both, okay. Okay. Now, um, th this is a fun one. It's brand new members. Brand new members go through the challenge. Let's just say that uh, Mrs. Johnson decides to pay a shitload of money and she's, uh, she's not a member yet. She's just doing the challenge and I want to close her. Already a week before, I would have grabbed her and told her how much I want her to stay, how proud I am of her, and how this is what it's going to look like going forward. I would assume the sale. I would tell her what her journey is going to look like post-challenge. And I would already set that groundwork up, and I would just assume that she's staying. Don't give them an option because they'll quit. I would just assume the sale. and. Chances are you have her card on file. Just say, Mrs. Johnson, do you want to do the same thing going forward? Or I have a better deal. 
We're going to put you on a monthly membership. Just assume the sale. They want to stay. Um, don't forget, too, that this discount for Dot Fit is 20% off during the challenge. The last day of the 20% off is on this day. So I tell everyone, you better stock up. I want, you, I want you to back up your pickup truck, get as much as you can now because the 20% is gone after this day. Also, people are going to ask you, they're all members now, whether they were new members or they're current members, they're going to ask you, all right, Casey, what's next? I mean, what do I do now? I mean, you don't just want to say, just keep doing what you're doing. No, there's going to be another program. You know, it could be a program where you might say, from uh, we're going to give you a week off, then we're starting another program, which is called Project Zero. Um, if, if you don't gain any weight over the next month, you're going to get, uh, we'll give you dot fit bars, have another program ready to go in a solution for them. People love programs. They want to be a part of something. What I wouldn't say is we have another fat loss challenge in six weeks. Don't do that. Have something ready for them to go. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something that they have to um, partake in financially. Uh, you know, we always do this thing we call project zero, which is after a challenge, um, we, we, they do their final in-body. They give us $100 to hold, envelope and safe. Over the next 30 days, if they don't gain a pound or more, they get their money back. If they gain more than a pound, their money goes into a pot. It's split amongst all the winners. So again, that's called Project Zero. I'll share that with Kat and she can send you all the rules with that. But it's a fun way for people to let's just say maintain but keep their eye on the prize have a little more freedom with their diet not as strict but what i'm hoping for is during project zero they eat a little more normal but they just don't eat like an asshole i want them to have that piece of pie but not three slices of pie um and the the the, the catchphrase we always use is bet on yourself i mean gain money lose weight it's pretty cool so what I would like to do now, because there's so many nuances with challenges, I want to open this up to questions with everyone. Between Kat, myself, and Neil, we've seen zillions of challenges. What uh, what questions do you guys have unique to yourself and your clubs? I think there's a bunch in the chat, I think. So Kat and Kat, did Brian, Brian didn't get on, huh? Did he know? Brian. No, I don't see him. Uh, okay. okay. Huh. He must not have known. So I talked to him this morning. I was hoping he'd be on so he could talk about if you have multi clubs people here. I saw a day, a Dan Fishman's on here. I saw a comment there because he's from the edge. Yeah. Why don't I field that one first? Because yeah. I did answer his um, his question, but you can chime in too if you'd like to. Um, in a big box gym with membership teams and the January rush, what are your thoughts on advertising to new member signups, starting with the challenge right off the rip? And with me and UFC Gym, you know, there were dozens of clubs domestically. And um, it was just for us, it was a great way for new members to get started because they got com instant community, instant community. So I think it's a fabulous introduction. Amazing introduction. Mm -hmm. Because think about it again, when, when, when you do the, um, when you have that presenter, that kick-ass rock star presenter, they're really, what, what we're really doing is just outlining all the values for our club anyway. So you're indoctrinating them into your, your cult anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. And what, yeah, what, and they want it. They want to be, yeah. want to be a part of them. all that community. Yeah. I mean, I think we forget as trainers, you know, most people are intimidated by the gym. It's like not their favorite place, but it becomes our favorite place when they have people to look forward to seeing and being with and like going through the things with. So yes, yeah. yes, and yes. <laughs> okay. An anonymous attendee. <laughs> says thoughts on the edge using the kickoff night as a product advertisement night with tables lined up with register with people registered and focus on selling products to win the challenge. I, I, Do you want actually, to comment I, on that, Frank? Or? I, I would love to comment on that. I, I wouldn't say it's a opportunity to sell. It's yep. an opportunity to help people. Uh, yes. they, they, they need this stuff. And um, it'd be one thing if we were, if we were setting tables up and selling vacuum cleaners, we're selling things that they need that are going to help them succeed. So uh, it's, it's uh, <laughs> if, you, if you have the staff, 
and your club has the bandwidth to set up the registers, I think it's great. I think it's great. If not, I would say just make sure you tie that up beforehand. To my, to my point is, instead of doing that, if you don't have the bandwidth or you don't have the staff, it's included in the price. So let's just say you were, you were going to charge $150 for a current member. That was your price. It's going to be $250 and it includes the bundle. That's what I would do. Um, yeah. I, I, I actually, I, I like my way better because there isn't an option. I'm not, mm -hmm. it's, it's my responsibility to make sure they get it. Yep. And you may say like, well, what if they don't want it? Well, they want help, don't they? Yeah. 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 And again, I, it's, that's, and you're, you're, I think you're spot on there, number one. And first of all, they do have the packages. Now that you can do both. In other words, when you do it that way and then set tables up to, you want to go faster? Because my first question is this, you have to have this. That's not negotiable. So we put it in the package. We want you to, we want to feed your body the nutrients without the calories. So you can, so you can keep muscle and lose fat. Just say that one word. And we're going to turn 12 weeks of work into six. Say that. Everybody's in. That's a done deal. So that sells the package. But then after that, you have your tables of thermic cell, you know, weight loss, liver support. And then you go like this. Now, how fast do you really want to go? And you just point over there. And then they can add that to it. But yeah, it's, 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 it's easy to take them to the well once. So you do want to package all then to, to and, and to Frank's point, it, 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 that's doing the right thing. To let people lose weight without supplements is a crime. It gets right down to it. And it really is because you're going to lose lean body mass at a, a drastic rate. And we're talking about you know, easy supplements that actually save them money on groceries when you talk about protein. Yep. So it's a, it, it's a good deal all the way around for them to make sure you get that. And then the other stuff can be extra. Yeah. So just to paint the picture for everybody, you know, during the kickoff party, there are like at UFC, we would have the tables and then the members that had pre-purchased products had their bag that they would pick up during their, the, the party. And so the, the psychology around that is it creates FOMO, right? Who knows what FOMO means? <laughs> right in the chat. It, it creates fear of missing out. So it creates this, what, what are they doing type of thing? And we know we're doing the right thing for the client because they need the extra nutrients during weight loss. They need the extra protein and they want, some of them want to genuinely win. So, you know, we know that this sort of encourages them to get involved. And let me just share a screen to give you an idea. Okay. Okay. And, so what do you guys see? And, you know, you were part of the edge then they, the way they did it. That most yep. mo towards the end, you realize you got to pre sell the packages somehow. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, that, and that's when the trainer signs up the client, that's when they're pre selling the packages as well. Right. So, you're pre selling. And then, what you tell them, if you guys can see the screen, is that on the night of the kickoff, you get an extra discount. It could be whatever you want. Here are the different bundles, you know, and, and it, these could be whatever you want. This is just the ones that they chose at UFC, the different bundles, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, or performance, because they also had a performance aspect. Anything additional that the trainer wanted to add. And then to make sure that the, you know, the front desk didn't get overloaded the night of the kickoff, because you'd have hundreds of people involved in these challenges at each location, they would prepay. So basically, you know, they would authorize the their credit card to be charged the night of the kickoff. And then they pick up their supplements with their name on it and everything bundled on their chair, waiting for them with their coach there, you know, passing their things out. So um, it's just great for engagement, great for people to get what they need and what they wanted as well. What else? Who else has questions? Um, so Frank, what, so uh, one question is what, what incentives, like, what do you give your coaches for monetary? Do you tie like the winners to the amount of money that they're, that the trainers are getting? Well, uh, the way I run my gym is a little bit different where our gym, our clients are our gym's clients. If my coaches had individual clients, that it's an opportunity for them to recruit more mm -hmm. and get more clients and they'll make more money. Mm -hmm. But for us, they do have a grand prize. The winning coach gets $500. That's awesome. 500 yeah. bucks is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and Dan, you you would know, uh, is Fishman still on? Yeah, Dan's on okay, still. Yeah, uh, what what did you guys do with the edge for your coaches? Because that was that was huge. That was a gigantic play. The mo they signed the most up, wasn't it?
Let's see, Dan, Dan, Dan. If you're if you're still here, Dan, and you want to talk, I can allow you to talk or, if you want and to. We have Casey yeah. on too, so whatever, Casey. Yeah, yeah, Casey. If you want to talk, let us know. If you want to yeah. share some of your hey, best Dan, practices. It was a cash prize. Don't remember how much it was. Got it. Okay, that was Dan. Um, yeah, you guys, money, money talks. Money talks. You're, that's why. That's what. That's why I heard you say that. You know, definitely money with the trainers. You know, okay, Casey, you're on. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Casey. Hey. You don't get to see my Christmas background, I guess. So that's okay. <laughs> you know, I got one. Um, so we do a couple of different things. So number one, our, 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 our prizes are for two different categories. So when we have people who are coming from over 24% body fat or under uh, or over 18% for men, uh, we go body weight percentage. So percentage mm -hmm. loss to body weight. And then for those under those categories, we go body composition. Mm -hmm. And we do that just to make sure that we're focusing now on lean body mass preservation and the supplements that would be appropriate for that. So that's, that's one thing that we do. And then I like to make this an educational challenge because it builds off of it and it builds retention for future months. So in our Facebook groups, we will post, uh, you know, like it'll be one of Neil's videos or it might be a snippets from some of the master classes talking about um, starvation mode or something like that. So we want to talk, we want to give them education so that it prompts conversation and then we can get into more detail of here's how you preserve lean body mass. Here's how you uh, support appetite control. Here's how you support additional uh, total energy expenditure, that kind of stuff. So, so we like to do that part of it. Um, and then for prize packages, we have three different options. We have a weight loss package, we have a uh, muscle gain and performance package, and then we have a general health package. And they, you know, we'll just add them all up until they get to 150 or 175 or whatever and say, here's what you get. You get an amino, you get a, a mm. creatine, you get a, a, a muscle defender and a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. right. So we want to just, you know, give them stuff that they're going to be using for future success. Mm -hmm. And that just keeps the ball rolling. Got it. I love it. Nice. Perfect. That is great. Okay. So Dan wants to know, um, for the challenge cost, are you looking to profit or just cover cost, or as a funnel to future profits? Both. Uh, definitely, definitely want to profit for, for most of our clubs. Uh, this could be anywhere between 30, 35% of your whole year's revenue in January. Uh, you definitely want to profit on this. And, and honestly, if you guys think about what we're offering in this challenge, and, and, and if I went back to the offerings, uh, it's a lot, and there's a lot of value in this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, you don't do it for a hundred bucks. It should be minimal three hundred dollar challenge for anybody, and that's that's including a member, non members. I mean, I've seen some gyms offer this for a thousand dollars. You should profit off this. There is a lot of value in it. Um, mm -hmm. I do think though, your member who's a loyal member should get hooked up. You should give mm -hmm. them some sort of discount on that mm -hmm. and some sort of incentive for the non member to think about joining before mm -hmm. they, they do this challenge. We want them to stick around. Um, yeah. But, but both, both. Yep, yep. And, and at UFC, they gave away uh, two coaching sessions. So they at least wanted to cover the labor costs for the coaching yeah, sessions. Right, and even on that, uh, Kat, I, I've dealt with this a lot where the, the trainers have to be on board with this too. Yeah. Where you're, you're, you're funneling in a bunch of new potential members. They mm -hmm. should give away a couple of sessions. Yep. And you want to win these people over. Uh, Absolutely. There skin, yeah, there has to be some skin in the game for them too. Yeah. Like, let me hand you these people who already are interested. Right. Yeah, you right. could make them your client, right? This person yeah. wants to lose a lot of weight and stay yeah. forever. They paid a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, oh. but yeah, I mean, the management obviously wanted to cover the labor costs within the challenge package. Totally. totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's it. But this, this, you're looking to gain some revenue off this too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, and, and the supplement is just, you know, the, the, totally. that margin is straight to the bottom line. You know, yeah. and, and part of and part of the strategy too, uh, Neil. You have the statistics, and you, I'm sure you memorize them. Uh, I, I want to make sure they're included, and I want to make sure that they load up before the the challenge is over as well too. That's two times they they've purchased. And mm -hmm. what are, what are the statistics, Neil? After the second, the third purchase goes up even higher. I think you have the exact numbers on that. Yeah, well, I think. It Member from challenges are a little different. But once a member buys once, there's a 75% chance they're buying the second time. By the third time, you're down to a 50% return on them. Then the ones that are locked are locked in forever. And those are the ones that got the results that they're wanting to. And they become lifers. 
-hmm. you know, like like so many of your of, of your people, they become lifers at that particular point. And it's always I mean, the average person purchase about sixty to sixty five dollars a month. You have your outliers that you know that would be like you and me that would pay two that buy two hundred dollars a month because that's our health for the rest of our life, right? But there's those are outliers because they can afford it. But you've got uh, your average person uh, is going to spend about sixty five dollars a month on supplements overall throughout, uh, and that and whether they're doing it at CVS or in your club, you know, it's mm -hmm. uh, they're they're doing that pretty much all the way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good question. So it's Casey's chiming in. He's saying everyone who wins or competes, they would they would do it for absolutely no prize because they're excited about success. That's what they really want is a success. Yeah. So the prize is for the incentive on the front end for those unsure or needing to commit to something. And that, that's why it's great for new members, because new members who are like, you know, just getting started, you want them to be a lifer. So you know what you said though that I really like that I don't not sure who did this. Now we had to do this with the biggest loser. Gotta remember this. You know, once we selected the participants for The Biggest Loser, they had to be holed up with me. Uh, all those contestants had to be holed up with me, and I would wire them up with a body bug, and I would do a lecture on real, true weight loss rather than what they're going to be put through, because they were going to be put through hell, right? So, and we knew what was going to happen after The Biggest Loser was over. We knew how fast these guys would probably gain their weight back. So we had to send trainers home with them for six <laughs> weeks. Six weeks after the show, this is one of the we were like number one show on TV for so long. After the show, we had to send trainers to live with them for six weeks to be able to make sure that they didn't gain all the way back in five minutes. Okay, so it was brutal. So I'm just letting you know, I love what you said. This is what I'm commenting. What, what made me think about that? Giving them a program when they're done. Yeah. Giving them, I love that. Yep. What'd you call it? Program zero or something? Or yep. Program zero. That I mean, that's great. Hey, here, this and just here's a good outline now to, to make it to the next uh, challenge or whatever you feel like you got to do it. This is what you're going to do. This is your new program that you've earned. That's great. I, I love that idea. So this is so Northwest is on and Northwest runs challenges. They've been running challenges since the Vis Vision Quest days. I, Alex, I don't know if that's you or not, but they're asking questions. And I love that you're asking questions because you guys are obviously wildly successful, but yeah, you still exactly. want to improve. So they want to know, Frank, what amenities are included with your challenge fee? Obviously, we know the supplement pieces. Maybe you could be more specific, which exactly what products. And what is the average percent of participant completion? Uh, I, I would say uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work backwards for our participation completion. We're, we're always around 90%. Um, I just, just because and that's, that includes the shit happens, people. Like somebody moves, somebody gets hurt. That's going to happen. 90%. That's is like high, four. Frank. Four weeks? Four weeks challenge? Four weeks. 90%. Okay. It's really high. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, but more but people, you know, you, know, you, sure run you run a personal training club. Uh, the, yeah. the, these people already have relationships, so it's a little bit different. Right. In, in terms of amenities, what they get is, again, they get their in-body, they get their, and I'll share the slide exactly what we what we offer. We, um, let me go back up. In-body, way. Yeah, right? the, the, the way and the accountability, they get the the individual nutrition, nutritional component. Well, it was a multi and an omega, a multi-omega and, and a protein. A protein and omega choice, protein. Obviously. That's yeah. our That's our base. Then they get twenty percent off everything else, um, but uh, but but they, our coaches are our coaches are uh, are definitely incentivized to reach out. We have software which tracks if people are missing appointments or haven't been in in like three days. We text mm -hmm. them, we reach right out to them. So the accountability level, and I know you guys do this well. You have a great reputation. The accountability level is really high. Mm -hmm. If we haven't seen someone in three days, you're getting a text or a phone call. Mm -hmm. I might drive by their house. This something's going to happen. <laughs> do a drive-by. Absolutely. I do, do a drive-by. Do a drive-by. <laughs> so follow-up question from Northwest. Do you do longer challenges, 60 or 90 days? I, I, I have done a 60-day one. It doesn't work for our club, uh, meaning it probably doesn't work for myself and my staff because we have major ADHD. But if, <laughs> if, you, if, I, if you can handle it, it's funny. Kat and I were just talking about it. If, if in your club, if you ever find that a long challenge doesn't work, it's not that your members can't do it, your staff can't. And, yeah. and uh, we, we, we can't. Yep. It's a um, burnout. It's a burnout. I mean, I watched the Edge do the eight week challenges. It was a, a miracle. There was total exhaustion at the end of the eight weeks, total exhaustion, staff exhaustion. But 
because there, it's a hard driving, uh, you know, their business model was just beat beat everybody up to produce. And so they pulled it off, you know, three times a year, you know, and so did, uh, so does Move. Move does it, uh, which is an offshoot of Vision Quest, as, uh, yep. you guys also, so you know it. But if it becomes, what I love about Frank's model, because Frank does it, well, you do it four or five, four times a year, right? Five? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so fun that it becomes your model. And if it's your model, then it's different because it is fun. It's not pressure. It's just fun because of the way you lay it out. And I think that's the way you get your staff to stay engaged. But I like the idea of the shorter ones for sure. I, yep. I, wouldn't have, I would have never thought of that because I, I don't have the experience of owning a gym that ran one. I mm -hmm. just partners in all the gyms that run them. And I see the mm -hmm. long ones and I know what the staff feels like after. So I think it's brilliant. The idea of like a four week one, you know, yeah. three times a year, that kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe six. Uh, Casey says that we run a parallel MyZone MEP challenge for the same time um, for the members, which I love. We did at USC with their MyZone um, as well. And that's so that it's sort of like a consistency challenge as well. So the people who weren't going to win the weight loss, they won for consistency. And there was a prize for that. Oh, very cool. Very good yeah. idea. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Great I have ideas for here. Northwest. Great ideas. I hope someone's <laughs> yeah. capturing it all this and we'll go launch it all. It's, it's yep, good yep. stuff. Good stuff. So, so Northwest, Alex, I don't know if this is you or not, but how long are your guys' challenge? Are you running 60, 90, four week nowadays? Or what are you guys running? I know Move does two 12 weeks and then one eight week um, in the holiday season. Yeah, we, we, we alternate between a 28 day and a 21 day. We do a 28, 21. Nice. 21, 20, nice. 21, 20. what, do you, what, what, what does uh, Northwest do? Yeah, Jason? they haven't responded yet. Okay. I, I think he's still on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same as Move. Okay, Same so is gotcha. that two yeah. 12 weeks and one eight week? And that be, and again, and to their credit, that's their model. Yep. If you build your gym to be that model, then, yep. you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what you do, right? Yep. So it's all set up that way all the way through. You don't have that same exhaustion. That you and there's, realize. there's some people still on Northwest. So if you want to share your best practices with the rest of the team, we'd love to hear from you. You yeah. can chat it in, chat on, or I could allow you to talk, whatever, whatever you'd like, or you don't have to share if you don't want. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> these, are, these are our guys. They, they get it done. <laughs> it helps the new traders get the new clients. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Right. That's what it's all about. Just, for sure. just a little Absolutely. For, a little advice for our smaller clubs that maybe don't have a big staff. A lot of the daily content you can uh, you can record all in one day and have four or five days worth of content that you could just schedule out and send out. Yeah. Um, you know what your content's going to be. It's either going to be nutrition, exercise, dietary support, or accountability. Just you know, film four or five three minute videos and just scale it out. Yeah, and I love that. That was the other thing I, I wrote down here that I really liked is the daily video, <laughs> the daily video into an email. I mean, and as long as it's like, you know, 60 seconds, 90 or whatever, you, whatever number I was going to ask you, what do you think the length should be? Three minutes. Uh, three minutes. Okay. Three Max. minutes. Three, three <laughs> minutes. So your three minute daily fix. Gotcha. So Northwest, you said yes in the chat. I didn't know if you meant yes, you wanted to talk or <laughs> so I'm allowing you to talk. If you don't want to do it, it's all good. <laughs> Um, all right. So in terms of the weigh-ins, how, how are you, how are you um, broadcasting the results, Frank? Are you, are you doing it in a Google spreadsheet and then like putting it on Facebook group or emailing out? Like we did a leaderboard at UFC and I would post the leaderboard in the Facebook group. It's a great question. There, there are two ways. Internally, we have the leaderboard, physically yep. we write it in, then it's email. We, we try to keep all of our electronic communication just an email because I know every single person will get the email. Right. And I'm, okay. sure, I'm sure Casey has, has run into this. Facebook is sometimes challenging where yeah, in a group and not get notified. It's mm -hmm. not like it was Casey in the heyday, which was like 10 years ago. If you were in a Facebook group, you would know what's going on. Now you don't always get notified and it's not a bad thing. Some people aren't on social media. It's kind of a good thing. So uh, it, it, this ensures you get everybody electronically. Yeah. We do email. Yeah, because if they're in, they're going to open their email. Otherwise, yes. yeah, that's the only email they're going to open. If they're in it, the, yeah. Yeah, Casey just said correct. They yes, they have to set it as important updates. Ah, yeah. uh, you know, you try to cover your bases, so I would do both Facebook and email. <laughs> Actually, if you're really slick and you have the software, 
text message. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's the best, right? To be able to get, to get that. Um, and then for your, you guys who have multiple locations, we'd also obviously have a location winner too. So it was incentive for the staff to like be engaged. So the club that won that had the best percentage of weight loss actually got a prize as well. So that's another way to increase engagement, particularly for your longer challenges. Okay, Casey wants to talk, hold on. I heard Northwest just uh, chimed in. They said they have challenges with their microphone or something. Oh, okay. Did I see that? Sorry, our microphone is being difficult. We would love to review some of our best practices. We are close to finishing up our expansion model. Once it's done, we will do it. Excellent. Thanks, guys. We appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you. we do. Bye. And we appreciate you being here and continuing. Yeah, for sure. To... Yeah. <laughs> you guys um, set the bar a long time ago for this stuff. All right, Case. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, I was going to say, you know, for those asking about the amenities and everything, it's really whatever you're trying to drive in your clubs. And we know that when people come to our hit classes and they come to our group classes, that they're going to get probably the most attention, uh, you know, uh, instructor to, to group. And uh, so if you're doing something like, and everybody's probably familiar with this with the like grand openings and things, but doing like a bingo card where you have people who, you know, they, you expect them to go to three group X classes, uh, mm. two mm. Uh, actual group X classes, three hit classes, and maybe a, a visit with a trainer if you're giving away free training session. You know, mm -hmm. so they can kind of hit all of the places in your clubs and just get everybody a little bit of love. So, you know, if they would never have done a yoga class, you can make it a possibility for them to, you know, fill out their bingo card, get a, you know, take a yoga class. And that's one of the requirements that they have to finish before they can be uh, up for the, uh, the overall challenge winner. Bingo card. You're going to have to share about that one case. Yeah, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Great ideas out here. Yeah. Excellent good. ideas. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. You guys last call. Any, anyone else have any questions or comments? Frank, thank you so much. That was great. Yeah. Casey, thank that you was for chiming awesome. in. And thanks for all the uh, audience participation too. Yeah. That, was, that was wonderful. We got to do more of the stuff just like this going forward. This is great. Yeah. Kat and I were talking, yeah, we have some good ideas for next quarter. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. If you know how busy <laughs> the gym business is, then we might as well get you take those numbers to through the roof all the way around for you. Casey going. says, Casey yeah. says masterminds. I, I can't agree. Masterminds. Yeah. And like yeah. you guys at Northwest, we want you to be part of those masterminds, obviously. Okay. Dan, does anyone have experience with tribe team training? They are eight week sessions matching a challenge to a season. I do hmm. not. I do not have. I don't either. I don't even know what that is. Tribe team training. I, I, I'm familiar with that. There's also uh, other clubs, uh, Fit and 42. Their whole model okay. revolves around challenges, but they have basic memberships. It's no, it's no different than what we're all doing. It's just that is their primary introduction to their clubs is challenges. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Hmm. Very cool. You doke. Well, listen, I guess we're not going to have another one until after the holiday. Yep. So I, I can't believe I'm not going to see you till next year. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, anyway. Neil, I'll let you sign us off for the year. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, no, listen, yeah. and I'm just I'm glad we were able to have this one to kind of close the year out and get ready for the next year. The next year should be really, really big in the gym business. You know, we're all coming back out of COVID, you know, with all the, with the gyms open, people coming, we've lost a lot of the older members in our bigger boxes. We know that not so much in the small boxes because they're just a little bit afraid, but things are really, really picking up in the gym. I was just spent the day yesterday at one of our UFC clubs here in Southern Cal. You know, so you can see the things are obviously slow in December, getting ready for January, though. So we should get to those full traffic levels. And people are really number one and number two New Year's resolution. Again, every single year, I looked up the most common over the last eight decades and the, mo and the most common today. Number one, lose weight. Number two, get healthier. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like. Well, here you go. Here's your package. Along with your membership, we got it. So yeah, we're perfectly positioned for all that. So that's that's the good news. And people are really focused on their health now. So they're looking at everything to do and they need to support it. And they're listening to you finally. So that's all good news. So great stuff. Again, want to say, wish happy holidays to everybody. It's been a good year. We're going to have a much, much stronger year together because we are stronger together. Amen. Thanks right. everyone. See you guys. guys. Have a Take good care. one. Bye. Bye.